Hey guys, welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. In today's episode, we are going to create our very first Electribe pattern. So the first step is to create some sounds that we're going to use for the pattern. I have something in mind. It's going to be an 80s synthwave retro kind of thing. Let's see how it works out. First thing we need to do, um, I've experimented with this a little bit, is to uh, enable pattern lock. So that if I nudge this accidentally, we're not going to change the pattern and lose all of our work. This is really important. This is something you set up in the global settings. If you do want to change pattern, you just hold down the shift button and then twirl and off you go. So we have an empty pattern here, init pattern, which has a couple of drum sounds assigned uh, automatically in these init patterns. And then we have a sawtooth waveform up here. And do excuse the appearance of my Electribe. It's looking a bit ghetto today. The reason for this uh, I'll explain in another video. Anyway, let's start with this kick sound. I'm going to twiddle this oscillator value to find something that I like the sound of. That one will do. We'll move on to the snare, which is on this pad here. We'll twiddle this again to find something suitable. I'm looking for a big 80s gated snare sound. That's pretty appropriate. Um, I also want some huge clap sounds. Uh, we'll put them on this pad here. If I hold down the shift button and twirl the oscillator, we jump up into the different um, categories of sound like that. And I think here we have some claps. Let's whiz through. That's quite nice. So there's some stuff there and a hi-hat we'll put onto this pad over here. So let's find the right category. There we go. Let's go take something like that. I'm gonna keep it simple. We'll only use these sounds today. I want this one to go through a massive sort of, um, I want this one to go through a massive reverb. So what we're going to do is enable MFX. It is already on that one. Switch it off on that one. MFX means that it's going to be routed through a global effects. And I'm going to configure that here. FX here to be a massive mm, wet reverb. Let's see what that sounds. We can adjust the parameters the reverb here. That's kind of massive. We don't want the kick going through there, so we'll switch off the MFX also to the snare. So we've got Yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to work. We'll we'll figure that out later. Okay, so that's the drum sounds. Uh, the next thing we need is some bass, perhaps. And let's put that over onto this pad here. Um, I'm in a trigger mode here, which means that whenever I play a pad, I get the sound for that trigger. And then also it's uh, tweakable via the parameters up here. Uh, so for the bass, we don't want any reverb. We'll switch that off. And I'm going to choose first the oscillate that we're going to use for that. And I think we need some beefy synthesizer waveform. Something like that, a sort of in octaves. We're going to adjust pitch down there and we can Okay, if I jump to keyboard mode here, now we can actually play the sounds. I'm just gonna, we can enable an envelope as well. Let's put a little bit of filter through the envelope. And not a bad starting point. I'm also going to add a little bit of effects to that one. 
And I think for the effects here, I'd like to go for some... Let's have a look, see what we have. This is the uh, insert effects. This is the effects that applies for just this particular sound and nothing else. Let's see. Maybe a delay would fatten that up a little bit. So what should we go for? One eighth delay. Well, I also want a little bit of portamento glide and we do that by holding down a shift and this one here. Let's see what we've got. Mm -hmm. That'll do for now. We can tweak these a little bit later on when we actually get into the uh, construction of the patterns, the notes that we're going to play as well. I'd like to have a pad sound over here. So let's go back to the trigger, TR for trigger. So for the pads, I think this will probably do quite nicely. We've got sort of a... Let's put the keyboard mode on so we can really hear what we're doing. These pads can have different modes and that's what these buttons here do. I can, for example, have chords playing. Or just a keyboard mode. And then you can set up the pattern to have different scales here and different notes and different key signatures and stuff. We'll cover that in the next video, I think. But um That's okay, and I'll add some chorus, I think, to this one, if I can find some chorus here. There you go. Okay, nice. And the other thing I want to have is some kind of little arpeggiator thing going on. And I think for this one, we'll put it on this pad and we'll choose some kind of... Um... Well, that's okay. And we can octave shift using these buttons here. We've got the reverb on that one. Maybe that's okay. We'll twiddle with that later, but we'll have a bit of delay, I think, here as well. Let's have some interesting delay, maybe something like a... three-sixteenths. And with this knob here, we just, I think the amount of the... Yeah, the amount of the... And I want some kind of lead sound, and I've got in mind here a, a belly type sound. So let's go for that one here. Yes, they're all at the top of the range. 400s, 40, there's a couple of bells here. Keyboard mode. Enable the amplifier by pressing that button there. Let's have some reverb, I'm sorry, not reverb. Let's have some nice delay on this one as well. That's good, I think we're done with the sounds. That's basically what we need for this track. Um, let's recap, shall we? We have a bass drum down here. We have snare, which is a bit too loud, so we're gonna can tweak that down there a little bit. We have hi-hats, which we don't want going through the reverb. And we have 
are massive 80s hand claps. Very nice. And uh, up here we have our bass sound. Something like that. What I'd really like to have is some kind of FM DX7 sound right here, but I, there isn't any on here. So this will have to do. I'm sure we can make that work. We have a pad over there. Let's put the keyboard mode on. A top tip here, if you shift, no, sorry, not shift, not here. We hold down the keyboard button, press under the pad, and then we choose the sound for that pad. Now this pad is sort of activated. Pad. Then we have our... arpeggio sound that we're going to use. And we also have... some bell sounds. So those are the eight sounds that we're going to need for this pattern. And I think that will do it for now. I don't want this video to go on far too long. So we'll call it quits at this point and join me again in part two, where we'll construct our pattern together. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon again. Ta-da! Woody Piano Shack